I was sent back to Earth with a warning message to the church, my name is Sister Fanny, a member of Deeper Life Bible Church, I became sick, at a time, my condition became worse, as a result of shortage of blood, the color of my blood changed, I stopped breathing, which means I died, at that moment I began the journey to eternity, suddenly, I found myself standing between a broad and narrow way, at that place, I saw many people rushing through the broad way, while only three people passed through the narrow way, in the next stage, I found myself standing before the judgment seat of God, I saw a crowd of angels worshipping God, they were saying, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, two angels from the crowd of angels confronted me with two books in their hands, one of the angels opened the book with the inscription the book of life, with speed he turned the pages of the book to the end but my name was not found in the book of life, he opened the second book with the inscription, the book of death, he also turned the pages very fast, he paused almost at the end of the book and looked at me and called me by my name Fanny, you were given three gifts, one, evangelism, two, singing and three, teaching, but you did not do well with these gifts, Instead you devoted yourself to secular teaching because of material things, the value God places on Sunday service, weekly activities, evangelism, follow-up and visitation. The angel asked me, did you attend church service last Sunday before you became sick? I answered yes, he said, you were recorded absent, the angels that takes record of attendance took record by 8,00m when service commences while you came three minutes after eight, so you were late, lateness is equivalent to absence, then he asked me, did you attend Bible study the last Monday before you became sick? I said yes, but you were late, he said you were mark absent, he asked me did you attend the midweek service on Thursday? I answered no, he then said that Sunday service, Bible study and a midweek service score 10% each. He said that my total score of attendance is 3 80ths percent. He asked me again, how often do you go for evangelism? I said very often he then said what about follow up and visitation? I told him that I do them very often, he said evangelism, visitation, and follow up scores 100% each. The angel said you scored 30% in evangelism, 40% in follow up and visitation 50% your score is 123 hundredths percent. He asked me if I do pay tithes, I said yes. He said that we ought to pay tithe of all things, be it gift, gain or salary, he went further that we ought to give more in offering unacceptable standard, he then asked me, as a teacher if your student scores these marks, will you pass him or her? I said no. He paused for a while and said what do you have to say about this? By then I was shivering because I knew that I was in trouble, I saw below, the acceptable standard Daniel 5 27, 27 you have been weighed on the scales and found wanting, Hebrew 12 28 wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear the other angel who had been silent said with a loud voice, your unfaithful servant, take her to hell when I heard that voice. I was terrified, I wish I could disappear or escape but there was nowhere to hide or escape, I wept bitterly before the angels, pleading for mercy, unfortunately, their faces remained motionless, they were not moved by my tears and weeping, but as I continued crying and pleading for a second chance, the angel who was talking to me said show her hell, I saw many people who are crying bitterly in hell. Ten strokes of whip was given to me as a warning for being unfaithful servant, the whip was so painful that I was shouting instead of crying, as I kept pleading for the second chance while weeping, the angel said to me go back to the world and amend your ways at that moment, I woke up shouting fire, 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 the heat of hellfire was so terrible that I couldn't understand the pain, lessons to learn, 1, a Christian neighbor is not supposed to go to hell, 2, the mission of every Christian is to make heaven and to take along as many people as possible, if you fail this you have failed God, 3, anything you prefer doing instead of serving God is your idol, 4, when people choose wrong priorities they regret at last, 5, if you accept Jesus Christ, you accept life, 6, 
the life of a man does not consist on his possessions, 7, Christianity is the ability to represent Christ wherever you go, 8, without soul winning, your Christianity is incomplete, 9, be careful not be unfaithful servant, 10, what are you doing to get your neighbor saved? 11, the whole duty of a man is to fear God and obey his commandments, 12, lateness to church is equal to absence, 13, to know about the top, ask from those coming from the top, 14, ask God to judge your life and reveal any secret error to you, so that you can amend your ways before the judgment day, 15. Always ask for the forgiveness of sin on a daily basis, salvation message and repentance, if you wish to escape the eternal fiery burning torment of hellfire in order to make heaven, you must accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior today because tomorrow is never promised, you must restitute and confess all your sin unto God and also ensure you join a Bible believing church for more spiritual growth however. If you are a Christian and still indulges into various kinds of sins such as, envy, anger, unforgiveness, lying, hatred, malice, murmuring, gossiping, stealing, taking or giving bribe, exams malpractice, fraud, smuggling and robbery, perhaps you into masturbation, fornication, adultery, prostitution, lusting after money and sexual immoralities, abortion, lesbianism, homosexuality kidnapping, ritual killings and assassination, you must confess and repent today, perhaps you into drunkenness, fighting and quarreling, alcoholism, smokers, divorcee, polygamous marriage, occultism consulted and of native doctors for charms making, praying in the name of Mary or any saints or angels, bowing down or honoring them, you must renounce all these abominables and plead for God's mercy. Perhaps as a woman you still give an in to vile affection changing the natural use of your body into that which is against nature therefore indulging yourself into worldly fashions, dressing in transparent clothes, wearing of mini and tightly skirts or wearing of trousers, exposing your breast, laps to seduce men, painting lips, fixing attachments, weave on, jewelries and earrings, making up, putting on extra eyelashes, piercing of noses, tattoos, nails fixing and body bleaching, you must repent. Dispose and burn them off and ensure you maintain your natural beauty because unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Remember, your soul is precious and was costly purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ and you can't afford to lose yours in hell for the next billions and trillions of years in eternity with eternal sorrow, tears, anguish and hopeless of ever coming out due to mere pleasure and fashion of this world that passeth away which you can easily forsake now and run to heaven, O oh heaven, a place of an everlasting joy, without tears, sorrow and neither pains but rather filled with happiness and God's glory. Please my beloved, don't miss heaven and I pray to see you in that glorious city very soon, copied.